In this second video, working through example two for quiz four, I'm now going to price the stock. Remember in the first video we got a discount rate for the stocks as 7.25% or 0 0.0725. And we have some information here. The dividend, the last 12 months is 0.62 cents. The earnings per share is $2.62. And so the price the stock, we use three models, capitalized earnings, constant growth model, and the H model. And you'll notice that I've given the formula for the H model below. I don't say it's the H model, but it is the H model. Now the H model has two growth rates, but when you do use the constant growth rate, constant growth model, constant growth dividend discount model, the two growth rates are the same. So this whole part of the formula just cancels out. So the dividend discount model formula is actually there. It's dividend zero times one plus the growth rate divided by KE minus G. So that's the constant growth. The capitalized earnings model is very similar. It looks exactly like the constant growth model except for it's your earnings per share times one plus your growth rate and your growth rate in, in the capitalized earnings case is the inflation rate. And you divide that by KE and again the growth rate, you subtract the growth rate which is inflation. So you really have all three formulas hinted at here but this is the H model formula. And so when we plug all of that in, so we start with the cost the capitalized earnings. For capitalized earnings, the price, the value of the stock is going to equal earnings per share zero times one plus inflation divided by our KE minus inflation. In this case, our earnings per share was 262. Our inflation rate, one plus our inflation rate. If you go back and look at our inflation rate assumption, it's given as 2.5%. So plus 0 0.025, we divide that by our discount rate, 0 0.0725 minus that same 0 0.025 and we do that, we should get a valuation of $56.54. So there's the capitalized earnings. The next model we'll do is the constant growth model, also known as a Gordon growth model or dividend discount model. So constant growth, dividend discount model, DDM, the value of the stock equals dividend zero times one plus your growth rate divided by KE minus G. In this case, our dividend zero again was 0 0.62. Our growth rate here is, I don't really give you a growth rate, but as remember what we said, we just assume, an obvious assumption is just assume the stock grows the same speed as the overall U.S. economy. And we expect the U.S. economy to grow 5.5%, so we're going to use that 5.5%. So 1 plus 0 0.055, make sure you multiply by 1 plus 0 0.055. What we're doing here is taking the dividend that they paid last year and we're conflating it so it will be dividends starting what, before we buy the stock next year's dividend. So multiply 62 cents times 1 plus the growth rate and divide by the discount rate 0 0.0725 minus 0 0.055. And in this case we get a price for this stock of $37.38. It should be rare for the DDM to give you a lower number than the capitalized earnings model, but that's more frequent today because firms are paying out much lower um, payout ratios than they have in the past, so it's actually giving us a lower number this time. And then the last model, the ones that's the longest one, but it's really not that bad, and that's the H model. And the value for the H model is dividend zero times one plus the long-term growth rate plus dividend zero times our H times our short-term growth rate minus our long-term growth rate. And we divide that all by KE minus G. And again, that entire formula is given right here in the, in the, in the formula hint. So our dividend zero is 0.62. Our long-term growth rate is the same as we used before. So we multiply one by one plus 0.055. We then add 
62 cents again for dividend. Now the H is implied here in this last sentence. They say they expect earnings growth to be 18% next year, so that's going to be your growth short term and move back to long-term growth rate over the next 12 years. So it's going to take 12 years to get from this 18% growth rate to the 5.5. Remember that H is one half of that period of time. So if it's 12 years to get from 18% to 5.5%, then your H is 6. So we'll multiply by 6 and then multiply by uh, the difference between 18% and 5.5%, the short-term growth and the long-term growth. So 0.18 minus 0 0.055. Take all of that and we'll divide by 0 0.0725 minus 0 0.055. And we do that, we get a value of $63.95. And of course, you would then take that value and compare it to the current stock price, whatever that might be. So our three values, um, cap earnings 56.54, constant growth DDM 37.38, and H model 63.95. Thanks.